go to repair, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. So, I know it's been a long time since y'all see me. Uh, probably a couple months. Usually be in and out on YouTube. Uh, gonna try to work on that. Always gonna say I try to work on that. But just know, when y'all don't see me, League is always just working on ways to improve my life. And that I have been doing, stepping on my game, leveling up. So what you see behind me is a 2008 uh, BMW 328i rear wheel drive, not an XI. And with this one is we got a couple issues, but I want to focus on an issue in particular. Uh, in first gear, so when you put it in first, it is manual. If you give it some gas, it could be as soon as you about to attempt to accelerate and the RPM start to go up. It comes out of first gear. You feel like the shifter slap you right in the palm right here. And it don't feel good either. Or you will hear it fling back out. That don't sound good. And uh, just the RPM shoot up all out like you in neutral. All the other gears are okay. It's fine. Uh, I did some DD on this particular matter. And this just says that, you know, it could come down to the uh, checking the, the shift linkages, the shifter, all of that. The fluid, the clutch assembly is good. I did the clutch a couple months ago. That is good. So I'm kind of rolling out the uh, clutch itself. All I know is when I am in first and I kind of I pump up the now I pump up the pedal more so if I'm running through the gears up and down from first to second, first to second. Uh, it seems to work like I'm trying to somehow get the synchros maybe to line up correctly I did read up if the fluid is low then it'll make it hard for the same rose to, to to give you that smooth engagement basically and that pops back out all in all it is somewhat normal for you for manual transmission for it to pop back out of gear but not consistently so hit the like button hit the subscribe button if those who don't follow me on Instagram make sure I get up get over there and follow me same as my uh, YouTube League Auto Repair and um, get some gloves on, get this car raised up. I got to take the uh, shield off at the bottom for the engine and transmission. And then what I'm going to do is change the oil. And I have BMW gear oil, the, ex the official expensive shit. So hit the subscribe button, hit the like button. Alright, so this is really simple. If you want to know what type of flu you need, that I'll leave that in the description. If you want to know how many quarts you need, it takes exactly 1.4, but on the high side, round it off with 1.5. If you want to guys want to be the angle about it. So we got that right. So now I got the uh, shield removed. My next thing for me to do is uh, I should crank free, and that's exactly what we're gonna do. Sorry, I'm away from the camera, I'm kinda of multitasking. So I'm gonna crank free the drain bolt and the fill plug. I'm sorry, the drain plug and the fill plug. I don't know why I said bolt, if you wanna call it that. And the reason like the, why I like to crack them free first because I don't wanna be all salty for when I drain the fluid and I can't fill it up because the fill plug is stripped, right? So that makes sense, right? So I'm just gonna crack it free. Sometimes they're pain in the ass because they ain't been off in a long time. All right, so this one is loose. If I can get it out. Oh, if you wanna know the size for this, I'm sorry, oh, I should've said something. The size for it is I had to use a T 
50. Uh, I was supposed to use a hex, but I didn't have a hex to use, so I always make something work. T50 fits in there fine. You don't have to worry about it being loose and stripping anything unless you already stripped it. Hmm, I got my socket stuck in here, so give me a second to get my socket out. Okay, I found an uh, eight millimeter quarter inch stubby and looking for this hammer so I can drive it in. Make sure that it's flush. And me, seems like this shit ain't been off in like years. Usually. <clears throat> All right, let me try this with a quarter. I mean, let me size it up. So I'm using an adapter for a 3 8 to a quarter. And I'm hoping this is made by Husky, so I'm hoping it holds. Not then I'll be going back and getting another one. So let's see. Oh, woo! You heard that? <laughs> Adjusted my head. Alright, so I got it free. Usually that happens, that's normal. So what I'm gonna do next is get this uh catch can and I'm gonna see if I can rig some shit up where because this type of lift I got is a scissor lift so it's not like you can walk all under it but I can finesse do some crafty shit from right here as you can see so y'all probably want to see the color of the oil and we just have to wait till I get it drained and we'll see from there and this is empty so we can you don't have to worry about like fluids and shit getting all mixed up or if I take the light right here and move it something where it's metal I don't believe right there is pretty fair probably not here we go so let's try it so I'm hoping for it to be contaminated and it just needed to be changed because that could solve like a whole lot of issues. Either way, we're going to change this. This is part of my process of elimination. Uh, it do look a little cloudy. It ain't burnt. And damn, that was only it that was in there? I was expecting more than a quarter and a half and it seemed like only. I want to have to measure this. Uh, do got a container for it. I want to see how much is in here, and it seems like it's less definitely less than a quart and a half. Unless I just sit there and let it drain and then collect. But either way, I think usually gear boxes don't hold a lot of fluid, period. Let me see if I can put this down. Here we go. Good. So I'm gonna leave that there for now and let it drain some more. All right, so I got a container, something I can measure, and it does read quarts, not in half, but at least I know where the half mark is in between uh, one and two quarts. So I got a funnel, I hope you guys can see good. You guys can see me? Good. I'm gonna work on, uh, give me better tripods and other camera equipment too. And I do wanna buy another camera, a, a third GoPro. And uh, a regular, uh, you know, DSLR or mirrorless again, probably. Hold on. That damn compressor got the hell on my damn nerves. My bad. Put new fluid in here. 
because this fluid is all kind of muggy a little bit. So yeah, let's do that. All right, so how I want to get this fluid back in here. There's multiple ways you could get it in there. Uh, I have a fluid extractor slash uh, pumper. It, well, it says dispenser, but I like to call it a you know a fluid pump, transfer pump, basically. Uh, so this is made by. Um, you probably won't be able to see the brand, or it might be flipped upside down. I don't know. Uh, Medivac. Uh, you can find this on Amazon. The uh, model number is MVA six eight five two. And I'll have the Amazon link below for you to click on it. Make sure y'all click on that. And so we all can benefit from it. And what I want to do is pour, basically pour the gear oil in here. Do have measurements for me. And uh, yeah, I want to extract the gear fluid out of the uh, bottle. And then I'm going to pump it back in. You can also get this uh, device, a cheaper version at uh, Harbor Freights or AutoZone, the fluid pump basically. And I know y'all can't see me. I'm gonna try to move this way over. And I guess all I gotta do is like, it's a syringe. I like this. Come on. I'm all shaking. It's a nice workout. Ooh, she sucked her all out. Okay. So now I'm not going to bother filling it because it only hold a liter and a half. I just pumped a liter in here. I'm hoping it's not going back down. That it is. So let me finish pumping this back up. So it's a way to close this. So it says the clothes turn to the right on here. So I did turn to the right. And it looks like we Gucci just like whatever was left over from in here. It's going back into this bottle. I don't like this. So now I want to pump this and the uh in the transmission. So sorry I don't have like decent, let me tighten this uh drain plug. I don't have decent pictures of, well, I should have gave y'all like a good video view. I am going to do that, but let me get organized. So you probably won't be able to see from this angle. I could get the GoPro set up, but obviously I don't feel like it. And this one is a simple job, but it's very similar to doing an oil change, except for your pumping fluid in. So this drain plug don't need to be extremely tight. Once it's tight, it's tight. And that's that. And I can pump my fluid in. Let me get my light on. Should have had that on in the first place. Let me get my pump. And I'm going to start with, so how much should we, we're going to pump this out until it overfills and we'll know it's overfilled when it comes out, uh, when it starts dripping out. I don't even, I didn't even get like a catch can or anything. I should have. So one second in case it spills. Extracted. So let's stick this in here. I like that. I like that a lot. And now I'm going to open this valve. And then I'm just going to pump this in there. Nice and slow on some Usher shit. So this is like a big ass fucking syringe pretty much. I love this thing already. So I bought this tool off the Mako tool of the truck and I got this like over half a year ago and this is my first time using this literally sat in my box the whole time literally all right so now I'm gonna close this to the left and I'm gonna go get some more pump some more all right so I refilled this time I put the whole thing in there in case this need more is needed to uh, go in there even though I know how much because I'm going to overfill it. That's how we fill it up. It's overfill. Let me get this valve in here. I mean, this uh, nozzle. We in there and open it. And pump. 
and I should see it. You should see it spill out. When it's spilling out, that's when you know you're full. Um, good now. Should be coming out any minute. There we go. Right there. And just let it pour out. Let it literally like let it level out on its own. And so you see like a slow drip where you can put the plug on there now so you know that your transmission is completely topped off. So I want to put the plug on there right now. So I want it literally at the run. So this transmission is full. How many quarts did this take? Damn near the whole, it took more than a quart and a half. Definitely took more than a quart and a half. I don't know why I said one and a half quart. But that's why we got two, just in case. So let me put this guy in here. And you want to tighten the drain plug. I might have to use that same torx I already used before. Come on. You know, sometimes you can't get the adapter off of the damn head of the ratchet because your glove's slippery. And like I said, this don't have to be extremely tight. It has to be tight at all. Just snug it so this is stop. Just like that. Because it's aluminum. Ooh, I hurt my damn hand. So next, clean this up. And I want to put this pan back on. I mean, the shield. And I am going to go on a... Uh, test drive make sure uh, everything is Gucci but that's exactly how you drain and refill your gearbox in your E90 or uh, E92 so I'm going to repair make sure you guys hit the like button make sure you guys hit the subscribe button you want to check me out throughout the day see how I live my life hit me up on Instagram you guys will see a lot of that so I'll highlight y'all